Hi, this is Michael Schmoli, and I'm here to talk to you about my new Android app that I'm going to be releasing called Drumpad Beats. And this app is a rhythm melody beat maker, and I'll get into more of that, how I separate those two out down the road. Um, the first thing I want to do is just show you basically the usage of it after you've sequenced note data. And it's based around scenes. Ableton, Machine, Bitwig, they use scenes and a clip launcher. It's not really a clip launcher, but it kind of uses the same idea of a container that holds a group of clips that hold note data, and you can play them together. And so I'll just show you really quick what you can do live. And what I'm doing live, you can actually record as a, a wave or MIDI data to import into Caustic or some other DAW that you're using. So. So that's the general gist of it. As you can see, I was changing scenes, which changed the note data that was playing. And I was also using the uh, pad loop mode down here, which you select with this loop icon. And you can toggle the pad to loop on and off. And another major thing to understand is that there's two banks of pads. The first bank is the drum bank, and that holds two beatboxes. There's one channel of eight here, and then another channel of eight. The second bank of pads is the synth bank, which operate a lot different than the drum bank, but these are individual channels. They're individual synths that can be controlled within the mixer mixer settings and add effects to these individually and so the scene is a way to collect certain types of stuff that you know your ideas in each of the the banks to kind of create a little track and then the scene mode here has one more thing where you can sequence the scenes as a section and then a song so if you drag these up here, you can play different ones. And then we go back to pattern mode here and play around with our scenes and you can get rid of that. So on the whole, that's basically what you're doing and you use the record button to start off with to record a live mix. And this is the step the step screen where you start to you pick your channel and then you you can set the velocity, set your steps. And then you can go into a move mode and move your steps around. Or you can go into the sam like this is a 16 pad sampler and drag samples into there or if it was a synth it's a keyboard so that the scene along with the uh, step is the way that you build up 
patterns and your and your track. And it also has one other nice thing that is a generator, and that is an arpeggiator. And right now, since I'm on a synth, it's going to just arpeggiate tones of the same sample. That's kind of that's kind of not there's other ways to use that if you're using actually a synth but this is more of a sampler this channel the way it's set up it has a bunch of breaks in it so, so mainly we have the pad mode here which is to select it selects your pads that you're focused and then this pad mode is a audition mode where you can enter real notes in the sequencer which on Android as we know is hit or miss because of touch latency and then the loop mode toggles on and off looping and that is for live recording or copying scenes which you'll see and then mute obviously is muting the pads so you can audition things and solo is soloing them out okay that's basically the fundamental of the app, of what it does to create sound. And I'm just kind of creating these simple overviews to show what's going on. And then I'll get more in depth on a lot of videos of what each thing does. Because there's a lot of hidden features hidden in that you need to understand how the app works to get to them or to use them. You have to be in certain modes. Okay, and there's there's four banks for scenes and scene 64 you can't use because of the way that I'm using caustic I use scene 64 for the empty channel when you're switching out of a scene that when you're not looping I'm doing some tricks okay well thanks for listening and uh, see me on the next overview for some more information that's more detailed about the scene Later.